In order to make a reel of our GIFs in iMovie, we have to convert the GIF file to an MOV file or M4V file. iMovie does not recognize the GIF as a animation or moving image video. If you try to open a GIF in iMovie, it will end up looking like a static photo. So in order to convert these images, we will have to go to find our original Photoshop file, and you can find that in your folder, most likely. Or if you did upload it to the Google Classroom, there's also a copy of it there. So you can go ahead and click that. When you open the preview in the Google Classroom, you actually don't have to unsubmit it. What you can do is select the file, and then click this little arrow to the right of the file like that. And then when it opens again, you'll be able to download it once the thumbnail shows up. So you just click download and it will go into your downloads folder. You might have to click twice to say that you want to download it anyway. Then you'll go over to Photoshop and you'll open up that file, click on open, and then navigate over to the downloads or to your folder where that Photoshop file is. Open up the Photoshop file that you made the GIF with. So you'll have a preview of what you made before. You can just double check it, make sure it still works the way that you thought. In order to convert this to a movie file, click file, go down to export just like we always did but this time you're going to scroll past save for web which allows us to save the gif and instead you're going to go down to render video we're going to be working this way rendering video from here on out uh, once we're done with the gifs so you're going to select that and it might take a little time for the program to export the video and you'll see a little timeline here. Also you should make sure you know where the video is going. So make sure you select a folder or your folder to make sure it goes to the place that you want it to go to. Notice that the file extension is no longer .gif for GIF and instead is a .mov which is a movie file. So you'll select render. It might take a few minutes to render this for you. Be patient, don't click a lot, and it will give you a timeline again for exporting the video. Once this is done, you'll be able to find the video in the folder that you exported it to.